And the triple digit temps are dangerous, potentially even deadly if you are outside for too long. But for many people in the valley, they are forced to call the outdoors their home. Mm -hmm. And that's why the city of Henderson was out checking on anyone they found outside. Fox says Victoria Saha was out and about with code enforcement officers today and explains more about their initiative. What's it, water? Water. It is a must during the hottest days of the summer. But for our most vulnerable population, it could be hard to come by. We want to offer you some water because we know it's going to be hot today. Which is why members of the public response team and code enforcement with the city of Henderson are going to parks, trails, parking lots to find those who have nowhere to go. Really take advantage of that cooling station because it's going to be hot today. What we're doing is trying to make sure that we're compassionate for any of our people that are living on the street. Their cars are full of cans of water and other necessities needed during the most dangerous days of the summer. People really that are out in the elements can't get um, hydrated enough, so we're trying to get them water and electrolytes. Since last week, the team has handed out over 400 cans of water, a glimpse of just how many people didn't have any. People living unsheltered, there is no cooling off. The team will be making multiple visits each day until the sun goes down to help out wherever they can. The code enforcement officers tell me that some of the folks they've been helping out say they haven't had water since the weekend, which is why it's so important for them to be out here today. Reporting in downtown Henderson, Victoria Saha, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And their efforts will continue every day this week. They also offer rides to the nearest cooling stations as well. Those are open through this Saturday.